Naha Alawi, and I lead the pre-sales team at Salesforce. <music> to be fully transparent, my tech journey started in a very unpredicted way, if I may say. I was doing my MBA and I've got a call from a recruiter from a big tech company uh, asking me if I would be interested to join this company and I was like, yeah, but I'm not an engineer. I'm, I have a background, business background. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. But you have a lot of other skills that are very, very interesting for us. So would you be happy to come for an interview? And I said, yes. And uh, after that, I, I made a big story out of nothing, if I may say, in my mind. So for me, it was like, I can't have this job. I'm not an engineer. Uh, I'm a female, so what, gonna, what I'm going to do in a tech company, etc. And after all the drama that I made up in my mind, I decided to go to the interview. And guess what? I got the job and that was 12 years back. <laughs> a career is a journey. And uh, during this journey, we might, we might face a lot of challenges. Uh, from my side, while I was facing challenges, the first thing that I learned is to be patient, uh, to surround myself with the people that will support me and empower me. And uh, in the hard challenges or situation, I learned how to look always at the future because it's brighter. <laughs> Gender balance, uh, diversity, and if I may say also inclusion are key metrics to success uh, within an organization. Uh, I find that it increased the creativity and the productivity uh, within the team and it also helped to give a different perspective. Uh, people might see things in a different angle and this is where we, we see that it can bring a lot of value within a team. Uh, also boosting the collaboration and all these things add a lot of values to a team and organization, of course. Yes, I do have many, actually. Every woman with a the, with the story, I would look up to her. Uh, now I can give you a few names I can talk about. Uh, Amy Dottier, the Icelandic crossfitter, one of the fittest women on earth. Uh, that is for me a symbol of resilience and hard work. Uh, I can also talk about Oprah Winfrey uh, with her great heart and everything that she's, uh, she, she achieved and everything that she went through. And uh, I can also give you another example, uh, a lady called Aisha Shinna, who is uh, an activist fighting for human rights and especially uh, for women in Morocco. So all these ladies, I would look up to them uh, at the different phases in my life or at the different situation that I might be uh, in. <laughs> Would you believe if I say everything? <laughs> so I need a pre-sales team and the first uh, passion, if I may say, about my job is my team. I'm very uh, passionate about my team, helping them in their journey, making sure that they are growing, that they are happy. So that my, that's my first passion, if I may say. And then we can add to this my customers. So uh, as a pre-sales leader, my job also is to make sure that we, are under, we understand the customer business requirements and we understand their vision and we are able to map out the technology with what they are looking to achieve and to make a successful uh, partnership. And uh, so this is the two main area. Now there are other things. We work with the third part partner as well. So we work with them as well. Uh, actually, in my job, every day is different. So that's what is passion, I, passionate about my, tea, about, about my work, sorry. first credit for this one should go to my team. <laughs> so my team is helping me a lot actually to stay uh, up to date. So we work uh, for a very innovative company and we are pre-sales. So basically our job is to showcase the innovation and the last technologies to our customers. And uh, having say, said that, so with my team, we organize uh, a weekly session of knowledge sharing. And this is where I learn the most 
because uh, every time someone will come up with a new application, with a new idea, with a new technology that is coming out, etc. And it can be uh, in a different, if I may say, industry. So this is how I keep up to date. If your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. I would say I whoop. <laughs> so three years back, I decided to start understanding better how my body works, uh, how to improve my sleep, how to uh, have uh, accurate data about my uh, heart rate, uh, etc. And how can I improve my recovery versus improve my strain. And uh, I came across whoop. Uh, and uh, it's very like, and I can see the innovation, you know, because I started using it three years back and uh, there was no AI, it was very basic. And now I can see like, it's, uh, I can track my data. Okay. And on the top of it, there is kind of like artificial intelligence that is giving me insights and I have a sleep coach and I have uh, kind of like everything. So yeah, my favorite gadget is definitely my Whoop. <music> leadership it's all about people it's all about how able we are to listen and understand what people are trying to achieve and a big part of it is how can we support these people to reach their goals <music> industry is evolving massively and it's an industry led by companies that are committed to supporting women careers growth so to all the ladies out there you are in the right place at the right time create your story <laughs> <laughs>